New camera. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, so here is a problem. And the question is coming down to what do you do when you divide vectors or how do you get around that situation? So suppose I have an object that starts at position 1 and it moves down to position 2. And I know these two positions, R1, I just pick, I pick some values. 1.5, 3.10 meters, it doesn't move in the z direction. R2 is 2.8, negative 2.50 meters, doesn't move in the z direction. And I know the average velocity. The average velocity vector is 0 0.565 in the x, negative 2.43 in the y, 0 meters per second. And so the question is, how long did it take to get down there? And it doesn't even have to move in that same path because I'm talking about the average velocity. Well, let's say here, v average is delta r over delta t. That's the definition of average velocity. Now, I want to solve for the time. So you can say, oh, well, I can multiply both sides by t, delta t. I get v average delta t equals delta r. And now how do I get delta t? Well, what if I divide both sides? So I say delta t equals delta r over v average. And I can't do that. Okay, I can't take a vector and divide by a vector. I could find delta r, and actually we should do that. So let's find delta r. It's going to be r2 minus r1. So delta r is going to be r2 minus r1, so 2.8 minus 1.5, so it's going to be, I'm doing this in my head, it's going to be 1.8 3, negative 2.5 minus 3.1 is going to be negative 5.6. Okay, so that's my delta r. So how do I divide this by this? You can't divide vectors. You cannot divide a vector by a vector. Okay, so there's actually two options here. I could do this. Delta t equals the magnitude of delta r over the magnitude of v average. So I could find um, I could find the magnitude of delta r is going to be the square root of 1.3 squared plus 5.6 squared plus 0 squared. And that was, I left off the minus sign because uh, when you square it's going to be positive anyway. And I can get this value, this, this is magnitude. I'm going to use Python here to just uh, calculate this real quick. So let's say uh, dr equals vector uh, 1.3, negative 5.6, 0. And then I'll say print the mag of dr. Using Python's calculator, completely legitimate. So I get 5.7, let's say this is 5.75 meters. And then I can do the same thing for V average and get the magnitude and that's just going to be the magnitude of this vector. So let me put that in here. 0 0.565 negative 2.430 0. Print mag V. I get 2.495 meters per second. So if I know that, I'm going to erase this. I'm running out of room here. So then I can say delta T is going to be the magnitude of delta R divided by the magnitude of V average. And I get um, 5.75 meters divided by 2.495 meters per second. And that gives me, putting in my calculator here, let's see, dt1 equals the mag of dr divided by the magnitude of v print dt1. I know you can't see this, but it is indeed there. So I get dt of 2.3 seconds. And you get meters divided by meters per second does give you seconds. So that's my time. 
Okay, now there's another way to do it. What if I only deal with this motion in the x direction? I could say this. I could just deal with the x components and say delta r x. Let me write it as the velocity. V average x equals delta r x over delta t. When I turn these into scalar components, I, this is now a scalar equation. I can solve for delta t. Delta t is going to be delta r x over v average x. So delta r x is just the x component. So I get 1.3 meters divided by the velocity in the x direction, which is 0.565, so 0.565 meters per second. And let's see what I get there. So if I can, I can just say uh, dt2 equals uh, dr dot x divided by v dot x. It will, you can do that in Python. And then let's print that. I get 2.3. I get a slightly different number, I will let you know. I get 2.30088. And the other one I had was 2.30434 seconds. Okay, now there's one other way to do it. What if I did the same thing with the z with the y direction? Because it should it should work in the y direction too. So if I do this in the y direction, I'm just going to change these uh, things right here to y. The z direction is not useful because those are zero. 0 divided by 0 doesn't give you anything. For in the y direction, I get 2.30453 seconds. Close. Okay. So they're all slightly different. Slightly. Because I, I cheated. And I cheated in this whole problem. Because you have to have these already in agreement. The change of position has to agree with the average velocity. Delta r has to be in the same direction as v average. And in fact, if I find a unit vector for dr and a unit vector for v, ha for v average, they should be the same thing. And I'll let you do that on your own. Okay? But you can check that. If they're not, then you're saying that this average velocity going from here to there, that's my dr, delta r, but v average is that way. That's the average velocity. That's not possible to have this and this in a different direction. Because I'm dividing this by a scalar, it has to be in the same direction as that. So you can't just take any two numbers. You can't take any positions and any velocity and say, find the time. Now, the other way around you could. If I have any position and any time, any change in position any time, I can find the velocity because it will be a vector. Okay. But when you're finding the time, it, if it doesn't work out, then you could get a situation that's impossible. Um, but in this case, probably the best thing to do would be, I, if I was doing this, I would just do the x components. But remember, you cannot do that. You cannot divide a vector by a vector. And that's the end of the story.